Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. SoftBank's arm isn't the AI play you think it is. Chinese entrepreneurs express awe and fear of OpenAI's Sora video tool. Taiwan's president-elect Lai ching tee thanks Japan for TSMC support. Dutch say China seeks military advantage from ASML tools. U.S. awards 1.5 billion U.S. dollars to global foundries for chip manufacture. SoftBank's arm isn't the AI play you think it is. Bloomberg. Shares in UK semiconductor designer Arm Holdings doubled in value between February 5 and 12, reaching $149, following its third-quarter earnings report. Arm does not produce the AI chips that are currently in high demand, but instead designs chips for data centers, which is more of a picks and shovels style success according to Bloomberg opinion. However, Arm's spokesperson declined to comment, making it difficult to quantify the company's AI-related profits. Chinese entrepreneurs express awe and fear of OpenAI's Sora video tool. South China Morning Post. Chinese business and technology communities are expressing both excitement and concern about OpenAI's latest achievement in generative artificial intelligence with its Sora text-to-video model, amid rising competition in this area and potential constraints from US-China trade tensions. Some business leaders believe that Sora's capabilities could widen the gap between China and the US in the field of AI, particularly due to US export restrictions on semiconductors and other core components needed for AI applications. However, others believe that China's home-developed text-to-video tools are not far behind Sora in terms of capabilities. Taiwan's president-elect Lai ching tee thanks Japan for TSMC support. Japan Times. Taiwan President-elect Lai ching tee has expressed gratitude to Tokyo for supporting the expansion of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, the world's largest contract chipmaker, in Japan. Lai thanked the Japanese government and legislature for their support in the swift construction of TSMC's first factory in Japan, which is set to be inaugurated on Saturday. The factory is a joint venture between TSMC, Sony Group, and Denso, and was completed within 20 months in Kumamoto Prefecture. Dutch say China seeks military advantage from ASML tools. Japan Times. The Dutch trade minister, Jeffrey Van Leeuwen, has stated that fears that ASML's computer chip equipment could be used for military purposes by China have led to recent decisions to deny the company export licenses. ASML is Europe's largest tech firm and is a dominant player in the global market for lithography systems, which are used by computer chipmakers to create circuitry. The Netherlands is concerned that China is seeking foreign expertise, including Dutch expertise in lithography, to advance its own military technology. U.S. awards 1.5 billion U.S. dollars to global foundries for chip manufacture. South China Morning Post. Global Foundries, the world's third-largest contract chipmaker, is set to receive $1.5 billion from the U.S. government to expand semiconductor production. The funding comes as part of the Biden administration's efforts to strengthen domestic supply chains following vulnerabilities exposed during the pandemic. The grant will be accompanied by $1.6 billion in available loans, with the total expected to generate $12.5 billion in potential investment across two states. The projects are expected to create 1,500 manufacturing jobs and 9,000 construction jobs over a decade. NVIDIA earnings highlight shortened trading week, what to know this week. Yahoo! With few economic events on the calendar expected to severely sway investor sentiment, the earnings report from AI darling NVIDIA on Wednesday after the market close will take center stage in the week ahead. Reports from Walmart, WMT, Home Depot, HD, Moderna, mRNA, and Warner Brothers Discovery, WBD, will also be in focus throughout the week. The growing economic consensus has hit a bump in the road. Over the past several months, a string of stronger-than-expected data had many investors embracing a possible soft landing, in which inflation would fall to the Federal Reserve's 2% target without a severe economic downturn. Recent data over the past week has challenged that narrative. Both the Consumer Price Index, CPI, and Producer Price Index, PPI, showed prices increased more than economists projected in the last month. And the January retail sales report showed sales dropped by more than economists had expected. In other words, neither inflation nor consumer spending improved. While January data are often noisy, the inflation data do suggest that disinflation took two steps back in January, 
Bank of America U.S. economists Stephen Juno and Michael Gapin wrote in a note to clients on Friday. Plans to expand U.S. chip manufacturing are running into obstacles. New York Times. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, the world's leading chip maker, has faced setbacks in its plans to establish a major semiconductor production hub in Arizona, USA. The company initially announced in 2022 that it would invest $40 billion in the project, which was seen as a key part of President Biden's efforts to boost domestic chip production. However, TSMC has delayed the start of manufacturing at its first Arizona factory to 2025 due to a lack of local expertise in installing advanced equipment. The company has also pushed back the production timeline for its second plant to 2027 or 2028. Other chipmakers, including Intel and Microchip Technology, have also adjusted their expansion plans due to a sales slump in the chip industry. The construction of new chip factories is a complex and costly process. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief by email.